Look at somebody and say, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. Grace is when you are qualified, is qualified. When you are qualified, is qualified, it's called favor. Now, favor is a divine system of God that gives you advantage. It's a system of advantage. And this system of advantage introduces divine speed in your life. Now, I need you to understand divine speed. Somebody say divine speed. I was writing last night and, and what the Lord was putting in my heart, divine speed does not mean you are running faster than everybody. No. It means you are achieving faster than anybody. How does it happen? God goes back into your life 10 years behind gather the blessings and go ahead of you gather the blessings of 15 years making 25 years and put it on your head in the present <laughs> that is the reason why somebody will conceive one pregnancy and deliver four children after 20 years of barrenness because if after 20 years I'm begin to give birth one child every two years it will take another eight years. That will become 28 years. And if the person married at 30 plus 28, the person will be 58. So, divine speed here, she will deliver quadruplets. God goes back into those 20 years, go back into the next thing, and just give her When that happens, people just think that you won jackpot. No, it's more than jackpot. You know, when it happened to me, we, are, we bought, I bought two cars in one year. No, they said no. And you know, that thing created a problem for me in my home. They said, in my village, they said I was carrying cocaine. And ladies and gentlemen, I've never seen cocaine since I was born, except the one I saw in the television. The days we were drinking, cocaine has not come to Nigeria. It was in the other country. If it came, it came in the 70s when I was drinking. I, I, we didn't even hear the name. Those were the good, old, olden days. Today, we are not looking for deep freezer in my house. But there are many. Your, your mother buys tomatoes for one year. Tomatoes. This is the time she buys tomatoes. Grind all, boil all, and put in the... If God has enough deep freezer to put them. It lasts for one year. One year. I don't think that Dr. Bamidele want to run out of Benin. But this land has blessed him. You know, the thing is not the land, though. It is the grace. Somebody say grace. Yeah. When he locates you wherever you are, he changes your story. Yeah. Lift up your hands. Ask God to give you grace. I'm going to stop here this morning. Elekusu Pradaba Mashaba. 
May kotoro kotaya. In the name of Jesus. Before you pray, let me show you two examples. Let me show you another two examples. Somebody say grace. Favor. Somebody say favor. favor. When favor comes on you, it gives you divine speed. Because what it does, it opens door, gives you access to where you never imagine you will get into. Look at Joseph. It was divine speed. Divine what? Speed. Is there anybody here that has a dream? You have a vision? You are expecting to get somewhere? And it is delayed. That's, this is what will carry you. 13 years of his life from one trouble to another that what was in his mind was how he can just come out of prison not how the dreams will come to pass not how he will rule his brothers no the, see when when leka lekreto sobia paul says in romans chapter 8 verse 28 or so he said all things how many things I just wish we will comprehend that all things tears and joy for we know for we know that all things work together for good to them that love God to them who are called according to his purpose what do you think that is against you right now God is working it out look at someone that says he's working it out come on look at someone that says he's working it out so if he's working it out it's a process until the process is complete, don't expect product. Whichever way is taking you now is working. For we know to those who are called according to his purpose, to those who are chosen, he said, You are a chosen generation, you are a peculiar person, you are not just like any other person. I have programmed your life and I wrote you on the palms of my hand. Nobody can pluck you out of my hand. I know what I am doing. You may not know. I'm working it out. Joseph was moving from one trouble to another. What did he do wrong? Just he de declaring his dream. Trouble started. What did he do wrong in Potiphar's house? Madam, this thing is not good now. How can I do this thing? He ended up in the prison. He didn't know that going to prison was going to school. Because if you must rule, we were told in our primary school that Egypt, that is where civilization began. Were you not told? So if he must rule the kingdom of Egypt, then he must be educated. He must understand the protocols of the palace. How would you understand protocol of palace when he was not coming from anywhere near kingship? So they throw him into where those who were political prisoners, where they were. Citizens, where they were. So he sat among them. He was listening to how things operate because he's getting there. I want to let you know that this pain, this challenge going through, is preparing you for something greater about to come. The delay in your life is being delayed because the things that are meant for you are still going into preparation. So you don't need to arrive without them being there. The delay is to allow the things to arrive and to allow the things that arrive to mature, to allow the things that arrive after maturing be ready for your consumption. So you have to be delayed a bit. Is anybody listening to me here? So stop crying. When grace and favor, when favor is operating in your life, one day, somebody say one day. One day. Friend, just one day. After 13 years, they, Joseph had divine speed. 
The Bible describes it that he was brought out of the prison hastily to where? To rule. Hastily to rule. From prison to palace. How do you explain it? How do you explain it if not grace that found him? If not favor, undeserved, undeserved manifestation of God's presence in a man's life. You don't deserve it, but it's given to you anyhow. That the, the prime minister lost his position that day for a stranger, a prisoner. Come on. You think those things you are written for fun? No. They are written for you to see. If you followed the American history and followed the suffering of the black, there was no chance for Obama to be a president. God did it to prove something. To prove that he was not just Trace his genealogy. You will find that his parents were slaves. His great great grand they were slaves. Where he came from. And he had this kind of skin. In the same country where the black and the white cannot sit in the same bus. He now ruled that country. Ruled the country for eight years. God will give you that kind of speed. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. I'm done. I, I recommend. I recommend Engineer Greg's book for somebody to read. After going through the book and look at him, what comes into my mind? I asked him one day, and I remember when he was talking about when we were talking about the book. He said, I just decided to let everyone know all I went through. And when you are reading the book, eh, you you would think God forsook him. It was all process. And I found out that it's you that is considering mistakes. God is considering destiny. I said, he didn't need to write all his marriage challenges. He said, but if I don't write it, how do people know that it is possible to go through those challenges and still standing. Lost business and lost money, got disappointed at the end. You are still what? Standing. What matters in the battle of life is after fighting. Will you still be standing? I tell you, get that book. It will so challenge your mind then it will encourage you to know that apart from those who went through it in the Bible, there are men that have gone through physical things. Not long ago, I, I stopped, I didn't reprint really print the book from zero to dash dash. How many of you have seen that book? From zero, my book. I didn't even put hero. I said from zero to dash 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 dash. After the first print finish, I refuse to reprint. You know why? Everywhere I go, people read the book and came to cry to me. They just break down and cry. And they said to me, do you mean you went through this? I said, yes. And you are here. And you think the person is going to say something good. The person will just break down and cry. And not long ago, I took the book and I was reading. And I began to ask myself, so, if I, the book began to bring back to my memory the things I went through. I was in the university of God.
Thank you.